One of the more common questions that we are routinely asked or that people tell us is going on is that they say that my head just feels like it's way too heavy and it's contributing to headaches or neck pain or jaw pain or pulling into the shoulders or any number of different things that are going on right up to the top and people don't really know exactly what that means. And so I wanna take a couple of moments and just describe, illustrate the general process as far as what is going on and what it is that can actually be done to help you out. Now, one of the first things that is important to understand is, or at least have an appreciation of, is how much does your head actually weigh? So what we have here is we have a shot put, and this particular shot put weighs nine pounds or approximately four kilograms. Well, why have I selected this select particular shot put? Well, the reason for that is because an average adult-sized human head is gonna be weighing somewhere in the vicinity between eight and 10 pounds. And you might be thinking, okay, wow, that sounds like an awful lot of uh, weight. Yes, it is. And part of the reason for that is because so much of the fluid or the, uh, the matter inside of your brain is of course going to be water. Now the thing about it is it sits on top of a little vertebra called the atlas. It's about this big and as you can appreciate this only weighs a few ounces. So we have this disproportionate relationship, hence why it's called an atlas, of this tiny little vertebra here with a massive weight being supported on the top of it and the caveat there is supported. Now, there is an important aspect to understand about the relationship between the skull and between the atlas. You see, unlike other vertebrae in your neck, which are maintained and have discs to support their structure, there is no disc between the skull and between your atlas. And so what happens is this relationship here is going to be suspended essentially by muscles, by ligaments. And as a consequence of that, it's going to, of course, allow us the ability to move our head in this matter, turning to the left, turning to the right, looking up, looking down. But the trade-off is, in order to be able to do that, it's not going to be quite as strong, as supported, as stable as all of the areas in the lower part of your neck. And what that means then is it means that this area is potentially susceptible to damage to physical injury. And no, we're not talking about the kind of physical injury where your head is going to fall off your shoulders. But what we are talking about are little micro tears of the ligaments that normally support and allow your head to be able to move and facilitated by the alignment motion of that atlas vertebra. And so here's what happens. If you have a particular physical misalignment, Let's say that the vertebra should normally be supporting the center of gravity of your skull like this, but then it shifts, it offsets, and that center of gravity gets moved even by a couple of millimeters, so a fraction of an inch, really, really small thing. Suddenly, what's gonna happen is your brain's gonna say, uh-oh, we need to change our position, we need to change our orientation, we need to start using the muscles and the ligaments in a different way because guess what? You're not able to support that normal weight in the way that you were able to before. And so what will very characteristically happen in majority of people is that their head is gonna start coming forward just like this. And as a consequence of that, it's gonna be putting undue stress and strain on those muscles, on those ligaments, and ultimately into those nerves in and through your neck. Now, if it's a one-off, no big deal. There's no problem with that. But the problem is, is that so many people think that this is just a temporary thing. They think that their tight muscles is because they are getting older or maybe they're being lazy with their posture. Posture is a reflection of where the stress is and what's going on beneath the surface. It's a reflection of how your body is intelligently adapting to the stresses and strains that are going on there. And so when these muscles, when these ligaments are being under undue stress and strain, then it's going to be causing everything to have to try to maintain the balance like that. But because that center of gravity is not going to be positioned exactly where it's supposed to be, 
the effect, the effect, the additional stress and strain on your muscles, guess what? You are going to feel that. And not unlike if you were, say, holding the shot put like this. It's normally supposed to be held close to your body like that. But try this. Try any heavy weight. Hold it out in front of you like this. And tell me what it feels like at that point. Because the ball, the weight, whatever you're holding, it's not going to get magically heavy by any stretch of the imagination. No, but it certainly is going to feel like that. And in fact, if you are holding something out in front of you, what you're probably going to notice is you're going to feel the additional stress and strain, guess where, across the upper part of your shoulders. You're going to feel it at the base of your neck. You're probably also going to feel it as your chin starts jutting forward like this, start to ache and burn across the back of your skull. So all of these things, all of these sensations, be it the muscle pulling, the shoulder discomfort, the neck discomfort, the headache, the jaw pulling, all of these things, they are the byproduct effect that go in that same category in terms of why your head feels like it is so heavy. Now, what it means in this circumstance here is it's not simply a matter of just doing some physical exercises, working on your posture, because you see, if it was a simple matter of that, then all we would have to do is say, oh, you have to just sit up, stand up straight, boom, problem solved. But very seldom is that ever actually the case. And the reason for that is because when you're talking about something that may have shifted, gotten offset, essentially gotten stuck, your neck is no longer free and flexible and mobile in the way that it was prior to a certain injury. And no, it's not always the kind of injury with broken bones, dislocations, bleeding, anything of that sort. But if it's the kind of injury where there's even a tiny offset, again, a couple of millimeters, and if it gets stuck there because the ligament essentially is holding it, prohibiting it from being able to come back where it should be, then that shift in the center of gravity stays. And what it's going to require is it's going to require precision essentially to get things unstuck. Again, if it's simply a matter of do this stretch, do this exercise, wonderful, awesome. And I sincerely hope that by doing these kinds of things, you're noticing there's a difference and it can take the weight off your shoulders so that your head doesn't feel quite as heavy. But if you are doing that and yet that sensation persists, it still feels as gnarly, nasty, heavy as it did under those other circumstances, guess what? Odds are it's because you need that little bit of extra something in order to help it move and stabilize then in the way that it's actually supposed to, getting the center of weight of your skull back under your head, under your shoulders, supported by that atlas, so that everything is then free and flexible to work the way that it is supposed to. And this is one of the most common things that people do actually describe after they've gotten a precise upper neck correction. So what we call in the upper cervical chiropractic world, an atlas adjustment. And this is not the kind of general procedure where you are twisting, cracking, popping, stretching the neck, no, nothing like that. You see, when we're dealing with these tiny little misalignments of the atlas vertebra, it will misalign potentially in any number of 360 degrees. And in addition to that, because all human beings are built different, not just on the outside, but also on the inside, when we take those individual differences into account by doing a series of physical tests, neurological tests, and specialized diagnostic imaging. It means that we don't have to use a whole bunch of force and a whole bunch of work in order to get things centered again because your body wants to be able to bring things back to center. All we have to do is then just give it that little bit of motion in that direction and guess what? Your body does the rest of the work from there. So hope this video has been useful, helpful for understanding well, why is it that you may have that heavy head kind of sensation, but also more importantly, what can you do about it? And how is it that having a specific atlas adjustment would be able to help you out in that regard? My name is Dr. Jeffrey Hanna, and I am at Clear Chiropractic Spokane. Take care.